Hi, I'm Mary Phillip, former international footballer and England captain. I also have a mess. Being a football coach and former player, I have learnt a lot about the benefits of being active and this has helped me deal with my MS. I'm going to show you some exercises that I hope will be helpful to you in boosting your mood, mobility, balance and strength. They hopefully will also help with some of your MS symptoms. I've been a volunteer coach at Peckentown Football Club for over 20 years and I'm currently the first team manager. So I've come down to our grounds today with a few volunteers who also have MS to show you some of the exercises that we're going to be doing. Remember, you're in control and of course you can pause and rewind these videos as you see fit. And don't forget to have your water bottle handy so you can keep yourself hydrated. Welcome to this lower body football themed workout. You can do these exercises either standing up, sitting down or a combination of both depending on what works best for you. Some sections will be seated only so make sure you have your chair handy. The important thing to remember is that you're in control of these exercises and remember to go at your own pace. For these exercise sessions, you'll need to have a comfortable chair, you'll need to have a ball, preferably the size of a football, but any size ball that can work for you will be ideal. And don't forget to make sure you have your water bottle handy so you can stay safely hydrated. At this point, it's also worth checking out your surroundings to make sure you're not gonna knock anything over. Okay, so you're in safe proximity and that you don't injure yourself or anybody else for that matter. Remember, if you're unsure about the exercise you're going to do due to your MS symptoms, especially balance, you may need to restrict or alter them to make them safe for yourself. And remember, before you start any new exercises, it's a good idea to consult with your doctor or your medical team about what kind of activities you're going to start taking part in and to make sure you always follow their advice. Remember to start slowly and build up gradually. Finally, I'm going to introduce Cos to my left and H here to my right, who will help me demonstrate these exercises. Okay, are you ready to get started? Right, so we're going to start our warm up. Join in as you can, follow myself, Cos, and H. First, let's start with stretching our arms. We're going to stretch them out in front of us and we're going to pull them back. So just out in front of us and then pull them back in. You do it as many as you feel comfortable. Trying to work between two to eight, and we can work in sets of three. Let's do a couple more of these, and then we're just going to change it. The next one we're going to do, we're going to put our hands up to the skies. Put our hands up, and then pull them back down. Our hands up to the skies, and we'll come back down again. Again, we are going to do this five times, but you yourself, you do what is comfortable for you, so just do sets between five to ten, and do a couple of reps, whatever you are feeling comfortable with. And then we'll just stop there to move on to our next exercises. Now we are going to do some leg exercises, so use your chair or your frame for support. So we're going to start off by just marching. So just gently lifting legs one foot at a time. So long as you've got your legs moving, because we'll be using them in the following workout. All right, now we've done our warm up, we are now gonna move on to the exercises. So let's move on. So we're now gonna start some exercises without the ball for the moment. You can do most of these exercises sitting down, so take a seat. Make sure you are comfortable and sit in a nice upright position with your feet flat on the ground in front of you. You may need to move forward slightly just so you have a bit more movement for your legs. So first up, we have the foot rise. So we're going to put our foot slightly in front of us and lift our toes off the floor and ensure your heel stays on the floor. So toes up and then toes down. Just do these five times on each foot. Four, one more, five. All right, let's change our feet. So right foot back, left foot goes out. So heel up, toes down. Same again on this foot, just five. We've got three, two, and last one, and one. So both feet back in together. Okay, we are now gonna start off our ankle circles. So both feet starting it together. Just put your right foot, slightly in front of you, lift it slightly off the floor so you have a little bit of movement. 
So you can circle your foot. We're just going to do five in one direction, four, five, and then five in the opposite direction. Just one, two, three, four, five. Remember, if you need to support your leg a little bit, that's not a problem. So you're going five in one direction, and then we're going five in the opposite direction. Four, five. Okay, we'll stop there. This time, we're going to work on our heel raises. So feet together, hands on your knees, your hands on the side of your chair, make sure you're sitting comfortable and just raise your heels off the floor. So we're working our calves now. That's two, three, four, and five. Remember, if you can't go right to the tips of your toe, that doesn't matter. As long as you can take your heel a little bit off the floor and give your legs a little bit of a workout, that's just as good. Remember, you're working with the body that you have. Okay, we're now going on to alternate legs, but still doing our heel raises. Going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, relax there. Okay, now it's time to get the ball involved. If you're using your chair for stability, make sure we've got it turned around to the side so we can use our hand in it. And if we're sitting in our chair, make sure we're nice and comfortable with our back nice and upright. Our first exercise, we're going to have our foot on top of the ball and we're just going to roll it slightly in front of us and bring it back. So using the sole of your foot, slightly in front and just back. If you're seated, like Case here, and you need to use your hand, to move your leg forward and backwards, that is fine. We're just gonna do this five times, and then we're gonna change legs. So change legs. We'll start with our left leg. So it's the same exercise, roll the ball slightly forward, and just bring it back. It's two, three, four, and one more time, five. Well done. Our next exercise now, with the ball again, instead of going forward and back, we're just going to go side to side. So it's just foot on top of the ball, gentle roll to the side, and back again. Remember again, if you're seated, nice and comfortable in your chair, and just gently try and roll that ball, work with your body to move that ball side to side. Remember, if you're standing and you need that bit of support, you use the back of your chair to support yourself and keep your balance, and we change sides. And we go again, so that's five again. It's one, two, three, four, five. Fantastic, everyone. Okay, now we are going to merge both exercises together, and we're going to move the ball in an L shape. Okay, we ready? So just go forward, little two taps to the side. And that'd be one, two. Remember, if you've got your chair there, if you don't need to hold on to it, or you want to try letting go, that is fine. And remember, if you're seated, you can use your arm to help move your leg. Last one coming up. And we change legs. Okay, and one. Bring it back in. Two. Three. Four. And last one coming up. Our next one we're going to do now is just our toe tap. So we're going to keep the ball nice and centrally in front of us and just raise our foot, just a little tap on top of the ball. We're going to go five each leg. That's four, five. Again, if you've got your chair and you need a bit of balance, you just put your hand on the back of your chair. And if you're seated and you need to give yourself a bit more support and help by raising your legs with your arms, that is fine as well. And last two. Okay, this time we're going to move on to just getting our, our hips moving because we ain't done much work on doing our core, so we're going to help strengthen our core. Put our foot on top of the ball, just going to 
Pivot out, open our hips, foot down. Alternative legs, open our hips. Again, when we're standing, if you need a bit of balance, use the back of your chair, or you can use your hips for a bit more balance, put both hands on your hips, or if you need your chair and you need to use your hands to help maneuver your legs, that is fine. Last two. Well done, everyone. Have a little drink now, just rehydrate ourselves. Okay, so we're just gonna finish off now with a couple of stretches. So I'm gonna do mine seated down with Kay. H is gonna do her standing up. So we'll start off with straighten our right leg forward, toes up, we're just gonna lean forward. Don't hold for more than six seconds. Two, one. Bring leg back, and we're gonna change our leg. So left leg forward now. Bend forward. If you can stretch your hand out over your toes, fantastic. If it just goes to in front of your toes, that's fantastic. And if it's to your knee, that is your stretch, that is also fantastic. We are working with the bodies that we have. Okay, we're gonna do this another time, so two times. So right leg again, we go forward. Stretch forward. Three, two, one. Let's come back. And our left leg, last time. So no more than six seconds. Three, two, one. Fantastic. Well done, everybody. Well, that's it from us for now. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the rest of our videos in this series. Thank you. See you next time. You can watch even more exercise videos by going to mssociety.org.uk slash staying active.